Hi there, it's Leslie Lewis, the CEO of the Ontario Science Centre, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the 5th Science Centre World Congress, which is going to be hosted by the Ontario Science Centre in Toronto, June 15th to 19th of 2008. The Ontario Science Centre, as many of you will know, has gone through a really major transformation over the last couple of years. So when you come to Toronto for the World Congress, you'll not only have the opportunity to participate in a once every three year occurrence in our, year, in our world, but also have the opportunity to see a transformed Ontario Science Centre. If you don't know the kinds of things we've been doing, I'd really suggest that you check the web link, which will be up on the World Congress website within a week from now, and uh, which will talk about the kinds of transformation that we've gone through in recent years. So what about Toronto? Well, the word Toronto is actually a Huron First Nation word, which means meeting place. And Toronto in 2008 is going to be just such a meeting place. The UN has called Toronto possibly the most diverse city in the world. And I can assure delegates from anywhere around the world that when you come to my city, you will feel at home. So what's the theme of the Fifth Science Center World Congress? It's science centers as agents of change, locally, nationally, and internationally. And there are going to be three sub-themes that relate to that. One of them is planet Earth. The second is social responsibility. And the third is the role of science centers in creating our future. We have a really exciting program that's developing. And that happens under the guidance of the International Program Committee, which is made up of representatives of the major science center uh, organizations from around the world. Keynote speeches are designed to link to each of the three sub-themes, and they're also designed to inspire delegates to think differently, not only during the Congress, but actually when they go back to their home countries and home institutions. So let me tell you about two of the three keynote groups that have our keynote speeches that have already been confirmed. With respect to planet Earth, we have two people who will jointly deliver a keynote address. The first is Sheila Watt-Cloutier. She is a Canadian Inuit, and she has been very active in the Inuit Circumpolar Congress. Ms. Watt-Cloutier will be talking about the impact of climate change on her people and the people of the far north. With her giving the keynote address will be Dr. Mohammed Hassan, who is the chair of the African Academy of Sciences and whose own research has been in, on sand dunes. So we will have two people talking about climate change, one from the perspective of the far north and one from the perspective of Africa. I think the dialogue will be very exciting. The second keynote that has been confirmed is the one with respect to the sub-theme of science centers and their role in creating the future. And here we have uh, the main keynote being given by a young woman called Jennifer Corriero. Jennifer was one of the co-founders and is still the executive director of an organization called Taking It Global. Taking It Global is a very exciting organization. Uh, their website has, the last time I heard, something like 1.4 million hits a day. Jennifer was selected by the World Economic Forum as a leader of tomorrow when she was only 22 years old. And she's got a real connection to a science center because she was a graduate of the Ontario Science Center Science School in 1999. Jennifer is going to be giving the keynote, but she will also be hooked up electronically to members of Taking It Global from Egypt, Chile, and China. So in fact, we will be hearing from four young people, all in their 20s, and all of whom are committed to having an impact on the world around them. And I believe they'll certainly have an impact on all of us at the Congress. The third keynote speaker on social responsibility, we hope to have confirmed within the next month. So you can find out more about it then. We've got a great plenary session program in development. 
and we've been reviewing over the last few months parallel session proposals that were received from all over the world and ultimately we are going to have 50 to 55 very exciting parallel sessions going on during the Congress. There will also be um, opportunity each day following lunch to have poster session presentations uh, from delegates. So why haven't you received anything in the mail? Usually by this time, seven months before a major conference, you'd have probably received about two mailings. But we're doing it differently. This is going to be a Green Congress. We consider that a major contribution when we think about science centers and the future. So there are no mailings, and there will be no mailings. But what you can do is go to our website, www.5scwc.org. That's 5 for 5th Science Center World Congress.org. You can add your name to our list there, and you will receive updates as they're added to the website. Registration is going to begin in November. We're expecting a thousand delegates from around the world to come to Toronto between June 15th and 19th. The World Congress is going to be different from the annual regional conferences that take place for Aztec, for ASPAC, for Excite, for RedPop, for SASTEC, and other regional associations. Firstly, one of the things that characterizes a World Congress is that every session must have speakers on it from at least three different continents. This ensures that we get a really global perspective on the issue at hand. Secondly, the Fifth Science Center World Congress sessions are focused on senior decision makers. This doesn't mean that registration is limited. What it means is that the sessions and the dialogue will focus on the strategic thinking that will underpin the future of science centers around the world. This is the first of a number of videos that we're going to do in preparation for the World Congress. My hope is that there'll be other people participating in them, other people from our own Ontario Science Center, so you can hear from staff at all levels why we're looking forward to welcoming you you to Toronto. So remember www.5scwc.org. You'll get all sorts of updates. You can start registering uh, sometime in November and the dates again are June 15th to 19th, 2008. Thank you. We look forward to welcoming you.